everyone. Welcome back. This is Lori Skinner with thiscraftersdream.com. Um, today for my Man Card Monday, we are going to make this slimline birthday card. And I'm also going to show you how to make a, a coordinating envelope for it. Um, this is the inside. Isn't that neat? We are going to be using the handsomely suited stamp set and coordinating die. And actually the only die we're going to be using is this little V to get the um, the triangle pieces. If you don't have this, you can just cut your paper and make a, a triangle out of it. You know, whatever you need to do to get the shape, it works. Okay, so for this card, let me put this aside. And remember, I will have the um, all the cardstock sizes and everything in my comments below. I mean, not the comments, but the um, description below. So you don't have to try to write everything down. So for slimline cards, what you need is a piece of cardstock that is seven by eight and a half and you score it at three and a half. So that's what we have right here. This is our card base. We're actually just gonna set this aside. And what else do we have? These are our three little triangle pieces. I cut them ahead of time. This is how I did it. What I did, I started with a strip of cardstock that is the same width of this gray, which um, it is three and one fourth by eight and one fourth. Where's my die? Here it is. And what I started, what I did was, I have the peak right here. I put it right to the end of the cardstock. And the hardest part is making sure you get this edge straight with the die. Um, that's the toughest part. So I cut one this way, I cut one this way, and then I cut one this way because the alternating pattern that I'm using is on the back side. So that's easy enough, right? Um, if you have the, the triangle dies, um, I believe they're stitched triangle dies, you, you could use those as well. So let's see, this is the inside, so we'll put that right there. What we need to do first is we're going to stamp all our bow ties on the background. And we're going to be using Basic Gray and Knight of Navy inks today. So for our bow tie, what I did was I got my paper lined up. And I used the, the taller grid paper, so it was, I guess I should have used that this time too, because it's kind of hard to find the, the center. But actually, let's see. What I say this was? Eight and one fourth. So that would be four and an eighth. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and an eighth. So let's move this down. I'm going to do it this way so it's easier to know. That's not going to work either. All right, I should have brought out my big paper and I think I'm going to grab the one I was working with so it's easier to see. So you can see what I'm talking about. So, see you can you can tell I was using this. Okay, so what you need to do is find the center of the cardstock. Like that. that, that looks, that looks right. Okay, so what you do is you take your bow tie and you stamp the first one directly in the center. And then you stamp one on either side. And it does not have to be perfect. And then stamp below and above. And it's so now you can start seeing the pattern I'm going to create. So basically, we are making our own decorative paper. 
Neat, huh? And it only takes a minute. You could also do this in Versamark and emboss it and then do a white wash over it. I mean, I mean a um, color wash over it. If you did it on white background, that'd be neat. Kind of like a tie-dye effect. Here, I'm just going to finish one whole end. And then flip it around. Because I have a feeling my head's going to get in the way. also found that you can take this bow tie and if you stamp it in a circle you can make it look like a flower. I'll show you when I'm done. Because I was thinking these kind of look like flowers. Now we're done with that, let's set that aside. Here, I'll show you what I was talking about about making a flower. I'll flip it over so it's, oh, <laughs> I guess I use this side. Okay, see, stamp one. See how you start building a flower, even though that one I got crooked. <laughs> You can just keep building. You could use different colors, get different layers. It's kind of muddy, but if you get the idea that you can make a flower out of this, it's kind of neat. Um, I also was thinking you could take the coordinating die and cut out a bunch of these and layer them and make a flower as well. So there's another use for this besides just a masculine card. Okay, let me set this aside. Okay, so now we have that done. So what we need to do is glue down our pieces. And here's my glue. So what you need to do first is glue down one of the gray ones because then, then that, that will help you line up the rest of them. Now the blue. Now, the gray. Oops, I just slid, <laughs> just slid it right off. You just got to see the pros and the cons of working with liquid glue. Gives you time to move things around, but it also moves around. <laughs> Okay, we can set that aside right now. And actually we can glue this to our, um, this is Night and Navy, and this is three and three eighths by eight and three eighths. Okay. This is just a hint of the blue behind it. Taped it down so it wouldn't move. Okay. Now, I guess I need this. We need to stamp our sentiment. And I forgot my white piece of paper. Okay. So here's a strip of white. 
and we need, here it is, we are going to use a happy birthday to you, and we are going to stamp it in night and navy. And we're going to be using our Label Me Fancy Punch to punch it out. over a little further. Okay, punch that. Then we're done with the punch. Now this going to put a couple dimensions on dimensionals on it but what I'm going to do is oops I did it the wrong I need to put them on the top and the bottom so it doesn't get stuck on the ribbon we're going to add some baker's twine so I am using both the Night and Navy and the Basic Gray from the Well Suited uh, Twine Combo Pack. This is part of the the suite. Let's see. So I take both of them. Let me close this ink before I put my hand in it. Still need it for the inside, but we'll get to that. Okay. So I take both colors of twine. Gather them up, and I'm going to start on this side. Leave a tail that's, that gives you enough room to tie a bow. And you're going to wrap it around three times. Okay. So I always tie a knot, then I tie a bow. It just makes it easier. Because you can tie a bow, I mean a knot, and then manipulate the strings around. A little bit easier. Tie a bow. If you're bow challenge, you can just tie a knot in the strings. That works as well. what's so great about crafting. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. Okay, pick both of these up. Okay. It keeps twisting. Okay, so now we can add our sentiment. See what I'm doing is I'm lining up this corner and this corner with the blue. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now this we can add to the card base with some dimensionals. And since this is a, a such a tall card, I'm, I add some into the center just to support it a little more. Okay, so let's add this to the 
card base. We're just going to center it. With these long ones, it's a little more challenging to get them attached without them atta adhering before you need them to. Okay, so now we are going to, I just don't like this bow, it keeps twisting. Let me just redo this. I have broken my thumbnails. It makes it really hard to do anything when you don't have thumbnails. All of a sudden, all my nails are breaking again. That's better. Now it's not twisting around. Okay, for the inside, what we are going to do is we are going to stamp this You're the Best on Top. Scoot it down so I can see. Okay, and then on the bottom, I'm going to stamp some more of the bow ties. The same way we did it on the, the, the basic gray layer. Sorry if you can hear my dog. Okay, so this we need to put one in the middle. I love this bow tie, it's so cute. And there you go. Oh, I got ink on it. Bummer, okay. I'll make that go away later. I might need some more glue. Okay, so let's add this to the inside. Where is? Sometimes you can take a white pencil and make it kind of blend in a little bit. Okay, super cute card, right? Now we are going to make the envelope. The all important envelope. <clears throat> okay, so for the envelope, where'd it go? Here it is. This is our envelope, our finished envelope. And what you start with is just an eight and a half by 11 piece of your computer paper. And what you do is you're going to on, I always get this backwards, on the eight and a half by 11 side, you're gonna score it at six and a half and then at two and a half. And then you're going to flip it. On the 11 side, you're gonna score at, it's this way, 10 and a half and one and a half. And you're gonna cut out these top corners and the two bottom corners. And this is what you end up with, is this piece. So to finish it, can you tell how old this is? My Project Life Rounder. I couldn't find my other one, so. I'm using this. So what I did was I rounded the corners on this top piece. And when you're scoring this, if you're using your paper trimmer, 
be very gentle with the scoring, otherwise it will just rip the paper because it's so thin. So just barely score it. So I fold everything up. And what you need to do is we're going to put some tear and tape along this edge. By using the tear and tape, you don't have to wait for any adhesive to dry. And you know for sure that your envelope is going to stay closed. Peel the edge off. I'm going to pull that over. I'm going to take this off. Fold that up. And you have an envelope. Now, what I did is, as you can see, flip the right way, I did the same bow tie pattern here and across the bottom just so it coordinates a little more. So let me grab my paper again and my basic gray ink. And here I added a sticky note to the seam so I can stamp without messing up my, my paper. Pretty easy to make a coordinating envelope, huh? If you have the, I guess it's, if you still have the old envelope punch board, you could probably make one with that too. Okay, so let's put this like this. Keep this covered. So I don't stamp on it. And we are going to Add a row to the bottom. This is such a great stamp set. This is a good one for since Father's Day is coming up. But it just makes fun birthday cards. Okay, there you go. Now you have a coordinating envelope. And if you want to know, because you you need something to seal it with, I added another piece of the tear and tape. So when you're ready to send the card, you can just put it in there, peel that off, and close it up. And then you have a card with a matching envelope. Isn't that fun? Where's my other one? Now we have two of them. I hope you enjoyed it today. Again, um, I do this every Monday. I come up with a different um, man card, which is why I call it Man Card Monday. Um, I know people struggle with coming up with the more the masculine cards. It's easy to create a super cute card for a female, um, but it's much harder to come up with the non-feminine cards. Um, so I thought I'd help you all out by doing this every week. If you enjoyed it, join me back here next week. Um, subscribe to my page so you get notifications when there's new stuff being posted. And thank you for joining me today.
See you next time. Bye.